Good afternoon, dear friends. I greet you on this Wednesday in the third week of Advent as we are making our way towards Christmas Day. We are 10 days out from Christmas. And while this may be a season of stress and anxiety for you for a variety of different reasons, we have so many symbols in our worship space that remind us of God's love and God's peace that we hope will ease some of that stress. And so with the beautiful addition of our chrismon trees this season, I, I've just been reminded of all of the various symbols that represent our faith during this time of year. And there is no symbol any more prominent than our Advent wreath. The Advent wreath really came about in the Middle Ages and Christians in the Middle Ages felt they needed some sort of calendar, if you will, to help count down the days and weeks until Christmas Day. And so they developed this idea of a wreath. And each week is represented in a particular way. And the wreath has a symbolism all its own. The round uh, circle uh, shape, the, the shape of the wreath itself, is round with no beginning and no end to remind us of the unending love of God for us. The wreath is always evergreen. Evergreen doesn't die. It, even in the coldest uh, winter months, evergreen stays bright and lively. Also as a reminder that God continues to grow in and through us, even during cold, difficult moments. There are four candles uh, around the wreath, each representing the four centuries between the last prophet, Ma Malachi, who was the last prophet to prophesy that a savior would come to redeem God's people. There were 400 years between Malachi and the birth of Jesus, represented by four candles, one for each century. We light a candle each Sunday of the four weeks, and the first candle we light is the candle of hope, or the prophecy candle. The prophets gave us hope that God would send a Savior. The second candle we light is the candle of peace, or the Bethlehem candle. God gave us peace through the birth of Jesus in a very small little village in the middle of Israel, a quiet place off the map but it is there that God bore peace for us through Jesus Christ. The third candle is the candle of joy or the shepherd's candle, reminding us when the, that when God revealed God's self through the angels uh, in the heavenly host and told the shepherds that a savior had been born, that the shepherds responded, first they were afraid, but then they proceeded without uh, with haste to find the Christ child because they were so overjoyed by this news. The fourth candle is the candle of love or the angel's candle, that the angels sang of God's love for us in the birth of Jesus Christ. And of course, the central candle, the white candle that stands tall in the middle is the Christ candle, reminding us of the sinlessness, the purity of Christ and that Christ is the light of the world, and that light overcomes all darkness. Friends, I hope this brief lesson on the Advent wreath gives you a renewed sense of connection to the Christmas story, to the Advent story, as we continue to count down the days to Christmas, the birthday of our Lord. I will look forward to seeing you this Sunday, the fourth Sunday of Advent, where we will be uh, entertained and delighted by beautiful music from our sanctuary choir, from our handbell ringers, from the Carolina Brass, and from the Linden String Quartet. We will enjoy one worship service together as a body of Christ at 11 o'clock here in the sanctuary. I look forward to seeing you then as we continue our Advent celebration, looking forward to the joyful day of Christmas. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon.